Welcome back to the RAS, ACS, and Behind the Knife Journalcast on Landmark Papers in Surgery. My name is Daniel De La Hunta. I'm a General Surgery Resident at Loyola University Medical Center, and I will be briefly reviewing the COST trial published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2004, which was a landmark contribution to the field of colorectal surgery demonstrating the safety of laparoscopic surgery for oncological colon resection. The impetus for this study was that the laparoscopic cholecystectomy had been shown to be superior to the open approach. The thought was that the laparoscopic colectomy should have similar perioperative benefits. However, there was concern of whether the laparoscopic colectomy would provide an adequate oncological resection in addition to report risk of increased tumor recurrence at laparoscopic surgical sites cited in several studies at the time. In this study, patients with colon adenocarcinoma at 48 institutions were randomized in a non-blinded fashion between 1994 to 2001 to either open colectomy or laparoscopically assisted colectomy. Follow-up was reported at three years for the initial publication with the subsequent publication reporting outcomes at five years. Patients with colon cancer, right, left, or sigmoid, were randomized to either an open or laparoscopic colectomy. 66 surgeons from 48 institutions participated in the study. Each surgeon had to have previously performed at least 20 laparoscopic colorectal operations and have a video of a laparoscopic colectomy reviewed to assess their oncological technique. Intraoperative conversion from laparoscopic to open was allowed at the surgeon's discretion. 428 patients underwent an open colectomy and 435 underwent a laparoscopic colectomy. The two groups were well matched with statistically similar age, number of previous surgeries, and cancer characteristics. The primary endpoint was timed tumor recurrence. With a median follow-up of 4.4 years, 20% of open colectomies and 17% of laparoscopic colectomies had tumor recurrence. There was no statistical difference between the two groups meeting the study's criteria to declare the laparoscopic procedure not significantly inferior to the open procedure in terms of oncological resection. This was further supported with there being no statistical difference in the number of lymph nodes sampled, the length of bowel and mesentery resected, and the surgical margins between the two groups. Of note, there were only three instances of tumor recurrence in a surgical wound, two in the laparoscopic group and one in the open. The study broke down the results further, showing no statistical difference in tumor recurrence rates for cancer stages 1, 2, and 3. A secondary outcome for the study was overall survival. As with the tumor recurrence, there was no statistical difference in survival rates between the laparoscopic and open surgical approach. And similar to tumor recurrence, there was no difference in overall survival for subgroup analysis of stages 1, 2, and 3. The laparoscopic approach was noted to have decreased oral and parenteral narcotics usage as well as shorter hospital stays all of which were statistically significant, consistent with previously validated laparoscopic procedures. There was no difference in 30-day mortality between the two groups. One downside of the laparoscopic approach was that it was correlated with significantly longer operating times, meaning 150 minutes versus 90 minutes for open colectomy. The cost group went on to publish five-year outcomes in the Annals of Surgery in 2007 that further demonstrated no difference in overall survival, disease-free survival, local recurrence rates, and overall rates of recurrence between the laparoscopic and open approaches. From the cost trial, it was determined that the laparoscopic approach for colon cancer was non-inferior to the open approach. A few things to note, however, was that this study was only relevant to stage 1, 2, or 3 colon cancer, not metastatic or locally advanced cancer, and it was only for right, left, or sigmoid colon cancer, not rectal cancer. There has subsequently been research by other groups with regard to the efficacy of laparoscopy for rectal cancer resection. Again, I'm Daniel De La Hunta, a general surgery resident at Loyola University Medical Center in Illinois. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach me at my email or via Twitter. Thanks for listening.